all right guys welcome back um some progress on the car um i know i wanted to do rx8 rear upgrade stuff as in the uh hubs and the axles but i didn't want to search for the knuckles um and then there's a, a part of the ride up where you have to take the end of the of a stock um nc axle and then take the half off like down here and I didn't really want to mess with that so um, I know the OEM hubs are prone to braking so this car being 230,000 miles I figured I already have everything off so let's just get new hubs and bearings so I got new hubs I got new uh, Timken bearings so kind of OEM ish and then I got shirt track slash track mode of axles which I really like these i use them in my 95 car um, the same brand and they were flawless so decided to go with them i got all this off of rock auto for i don't know maybe less than 300 dollars, and i got here literally like the next day so i got these all pressed in so it's all nice and ready um i'm gonna throw everything back on and i think in this video i'll have it on the ground so you guys can finally see it off of jack stands I'm just putting a little bit of grease on the uh, the end where it goes into the diff, just to make it slide in a little easier. Um, if anyone's obviously gonna be doing this, your the axles aren't the same length, so the longer side goes to the passenger, and the shorter side goes to the driver's side. The axle through, I put this uh, upper arm on with the nut just to hold it. I'm putting the toe arm back in. All right, so the passenger side's all put together with the new axle hub and all of that stuff. Coilovers in, all the arms are in. Like I said in one of the previous videos, I'm going to be replacing all these arms with, um, I might do the SPL stuff as it has a good adjustability in its uh, spherical bearings, but I might just get new OEM arms and um, do uh, poly bushings. Haven't really decided yet. The SPL stuff is really expensive. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to move on to the other side and then um, I'll, uh, kind of hang the exhaust up just enough to where I could put it on the ground it won't scrape or anything and then I'll put the wheels on and, and then I'll put it on the ground Here she is uh, with the wheels on, up on the sands. These are 17 by 10, 38 Enkai RPF1s. I am not gonna put the front bumper on for now because I still gotta put my race bread uh, front splitter on. But the tires I'm using are uh, 255, 40, 17, next into Ferris or fours. I had these on the white car and I really liked them. So I went with actually a bigger size, uh, 255. On the white car, I had 245, but on a 17 by nine. So as you can see, it's uh, fairly aggressive. I mean, look at that front end. <laughs> it looks wide. But yeah, I'm gonna take it off the jack stands right now and get it on the ground. So here she is on the ground. Don't mind the hard top. I still gotta take off the plastic dip and repaint it. I'm having a power steering uh, leak. I don't know where the leak is at. I'm still trying to figure it out. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna drive it. Actually, a little bit in the rear. We 
Yeah, it's all there. You can hear it loping. I want to change the exhaust. I want to make it just a little bit louder. I took it out of the driveway, turned it around, and put it right back up on jack sands. Uh, I got to um, change the diff fluid and the trans fluid, um, and I, I still have a power steering leak. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's really leaking bad, so uh, I got to figure it out. Um, but uh, no no weird, odd noises when I pulled it out of the driveway, so just have a couple couple things to go but it's it's getting there this was definitely a big step getting it on the ground and getting the wheels on and actually literally moving it for the first time on its own power so yeah um thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next video